this is one of those Harbor Freight Greyhound uh, 6.5 horsepower motors. It's a copy of a Honda GX200 engine. It's a very, very common engine used in sort of like pumps and go karts and mini bikes and generators and wood splitters and all oh, lots of good stuff. And uh, you might notice it looks pretty much new, and you might think, well, why is this engine no good? And I'm trying to figure that out myself. I bought it second hand from a guy. Actually, I lied. I bought it new from a guy for 50 bucks, brand new in the box. He just said he had too many of them. He had no use for it. And I saw it on Craigslist, and I was like, might as well snap that up, because I'm bound to have an, a use for an engine like this with all, all manner of bikes. And, um... Yeah, so I bought it, I put a little bit of fuel and oil into it, ran it for you know, about an hour or so, just to break her in, and then I let it sit outside with the tarp over it for about three months now, and she doesn't want to really start. At least, that's how it was a week ago. So uh, I'll try and start her up again, and if not, then we'll have to get into uh, troubleshooting mode. So I'll use my little camera prop deal here. Give it a pull. Give her a uh, fuel and full choke. Smell the fuel real quick. Doesn't smell bad. It's trying. Yeah, see, it was firing, but, I mean, it, it won't run, it, this, and I have no idea why this is, I mean, I, it's got to be stale gas or something, so, I'll drain the tank out and put some new fuel to it, and uh, see if that fixes the problem, and if not, we'll have to do some more troubleshooting. The fuel line is the only way you can drain the tank, you just pull the fuel line off down in there, you probably can't see, but, yeah, I'll just pull that off with my uh, needle nose pliers and drain her out and then I'll give her another try. So I'm sure you can see the metal shop is in full swing here. But um, yeah, got the uh, motor up on the, well, what a dick, motor up on the table here. Um, I pulled the fuel line off and it was draining away good and you know, but I left a little bit of fuel in there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut the pet cock and take off the the bowl drain right and then I'll have that drain out and I'll turn the fuel back on and I'll see how much flow is coming out of there because I have read on forums and stuff that these motors tend to have shitty pet cocks in here that don't have, let enough fuel through so uh yeah we'll try that let's get the 10 mil on there fuel's off 10 mil on there get a funnel for this shit. As you can see it's draining away really well and it's got plenty of flow there so it's not a petcock issue. So I'll just continue to let this all drain away until the tank's empty then I'm going to put some new fuel in there and hopefully that'll fix the problem. Capitalizing on uh, Lazy Man technology here. Uh, I took the air cleaner cover off and the air cleaner looks perfect and pulled the air cleaner itself off there and see if there's any abnormalities in there, which I really doubt there will be. But it's always worth trying. You know, checking, just making sure. Looks perfect. Let's keep that off for now. I'll do either one of these. I guess I put her in there. Check the oil level. I'm sure, it's gonna have more than enough. Yep. Start spilling out. Damn, this is taking forever. Just about empty, I'd say.
fuel smells good too. I don't know. I really don't think that's the issue. But I can't think of what else it would be. So, I mean, it might be the plug. I'll try my other plug if, that, if the fuel doesn't work. But yeah, let's get some new fuel into it. Give it a try. Well, it's got no new fuel in it now, but I spotted something just doing a little inspection of the whole car linkage and everything. I spotted a little problem. Can you see what it is? That spring there that goes from the governor arm there isn't attached to the uh, the carburetor throttle linkage thing there. So, I mean, I don't think that could make much of a difference, but I'm going to hook that up anyway and see if that'll help. Because it's not, it's not wanting to go with the new fuel already. Which is just dick. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna want to get to it. I'm gonna pull this air filter shroud thing off, and these these bolts here hold the carburetor on too. But it stays on studs, so it should be fine. And uh, rehook that up and see if that makes any difference. It's a uh, 10 mil. Good thing about these these Chonda engines, everything is 10 mil on them. I might have to get the socket onto it. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Yeah, I will. Apologize. Taking the Shizuki for a bit of a ride. Uh, found my my socket on my torsion bar. I like these much better than ratchets. Um, got those two undone and figured out there's a third one up here. So just loosen that bitch up, no problem. It's done up super tight. Yeah, it is. Get some leverage. Ah, oh, there we go. Wow, that was an ordeal. I've been fixing a lot of this lately in freaking carpentry class, school, and the school I go to. I've um, the freaking teacher has been bringing in all of his screwed up, um, you know, small engine things like his weed whackers and his his uh, pressure washers and stuff. Today I, I got a uh, one of these G GC160 pressure washers going. That's pretty fun. I don't know. It's kind of like slave labor, but I'd rather do it than do some stupid garbage woodworking project. Why is that stuck up now? PCV? Yeah, PCV. There's a little tube there that goes from the, uh, the rocker cover to the air cleaner. You don't need it, though. I mean, you do, but it's a little bitch to pull off. There we go. Should just slide off now? Yep. No problem. Now there's the spring, there, and that's where it goes, on that little, uh, that's the throttle linkage there. See, look, but my theory is what's happening is the, is, okay, like, the throttle's cutting in, right, you know, like it should, because these things, you know, that's the throttle there, alright, to go on, and what's happening is the governor is pushing, right, like that, shutting the throttle, and then the throttle can't open again because the spring's not holding it on. That's my theory, at least. So I'll put that spring back on and reassemble all the garbage and see if that makes it run. That operates much better now. There, get my, my little light. Yeah, so you can see it, um, you know, open the throttle here and See, it's not doing anything now because the spring's keeping it tight, and when I do actually operate it, spring's back no problem. So, you know, air filter goes back on, and then hopefully it'll run. And if it doesn't, then I don't know, ignition, spark, or something. Hopefully, it doesn't get to that though. Carburetor shroud's back on now. Gotta put the air filter element back on. Oh shit, we lost no ring. Where does that go? Okay, it would appear we've lost no ring from God knows where. I guess it goes. There, I guess? Is it, or does it like. Fit around. Yeah, it fits around there. There we go. Sweet. Pop the cleaner back on. Get one of the wing nuts. Get 
that nice and tight so it seals good. Frig sakes! Okay, she's all back together now. Got the PCV tube stoved in there pretty good. That's an important thing. You're going to want to have that because if you don't have that, then it'll, it'll uh, not. Because the way these work is when the piston, you know, comes up and down, and of course diffuses quite a bit of air when it does that, and it stops it. So when, like, the piston goes down, like that, it doesn't push the seals that well the, that it does. So it just sort of stoves that air into here. Some motors like Briggs and Stratton just have a tube going down but I think that's probably like good for induction a little bit because it you know it's kind of a, a little bit of a forced induction if you will so uh, yeah let's get her back on the uh, on the mat the rubber mat and give her a run the reason I don't, I don't want to do it up here is partially because if it decides it wants to drive itself off it's like a three foot drop to concrete and that's no good and also because you're not supposed to run these on uh, hard surfaces because it can crack the uh, crack the casing. So, yeah, we'll take her take her down there, and uh, hopefully it'll run. Pretty confident it will, but you know, mostly I'm shit everything I do, so might not. Let's give it a try. Just got a call from a Craigslist customer asking if I still had a bike that I sold uh, November, and it's March now. Pretty crazy. So hopefully this thing will run. I hope it does. Fuel on, give it full choke. Bring it right to dead. shows the importance of getting all your springs and all your little rods for the governor and throttle linkage just hooked up exactly right because it'll make that much of a difference. Evidently, uh, you know, a difference of actually running or not. See if she starts first pull. Sweet. Gotta do something good with this engine now that I actually have it running. Well, uh, thanks for watching, everyone.